Hey everyone, this is Anupam here and I'll be hosting a small talk session on Qt for Python. Qt for Python is an official Qt project which aims to provide Python bindings for Qt C++ APIs. It is composed of two components, one is PySide and the other one is Shiboken. PySide is the Python module that we will be using to communicate with the Qt C++ APIs. Whereas Shiboken is used to extract information from C or C++ headers and uh, generate code that will allow us to bring C or C++ projects to Python. Just like Qt, Qt for Python is dual licensed. One is under LGPL or GPL3 and another one is commercial. The LGPL or GPL3 license is more open source friendly and if you need to do some commercial application, you will need to opt into the commercial license. Now coming to PySide, it's very easy to install. You either run pip install PySide2 or pip install PySide6 depending upon the queued version that you require. I will be talking about that later. PySide works with Python 3.5 plus. PySide provides Python bindings to Qt C++ APIs like the following. From PySide2.QtQML, you can import the QtQML application engine, which will basically uh, run the QML application. As of the latest version of PySide, which is PySide 6, bindings are available both in snake case and camel case. Developers can use either of them as per their liking. As of now, PySide is available in two versions. One is PySide 2 and the other one is PySide 6. PySide 2 provides bindings for Qt 5.x and PySide 6 provides bindings for Qt 6.x. With Qt framework, UI design can be done in two ways. One is Qt widgets and the other one is QML. Here we will be focusing on QML. QML is declarative and easy to understand or write. The UI related logic can be written in standard JavaScript which is pretty easy. Here is a very basic demo of PySide in action. This is a simple PySide application which imports the PySide modules and initiates a QML application engine which in turn loads the main.qml file. The main.qml file creates an object of the application window which shows, which shows an application window and a rectangle in center of the screen. This is a live demo of a PySide application. This is Pico Wizard and the first run wizard which is shipped with Plasma Mobile on Manjaro. This is the time zone screen. You can scroll the time zones and select the, your time zone. You can also type to filter the time zones and click next to set the time zone. This is the wireless network connection screen. You can click and you set your password to connect to that Wi-Fi network. This is the user creation screen. You can type your name, your username, password, which should be digits only for Plasma Mobile and Click next to set your username. I will be hosting a Bob session on 21st June 11 UTC. Follow the official channels to know more about joining the Bob sessions. And the workshop is for beginners who wants to get into Qt development or Qt for Python development. Anyone can join the Bob session who is willing to learn more about Qt for Python. Uh, the only requirement is basic python knowledge other than that nothing else is required and if you know qml it's a plus these are more or less the topics that i want to cover on the bob session and uh, the, this might change depending upon the situation or the timings that we have on the session that's all for now thank you for joining bye bye